Hi everyone, I'm Ming from ML Astro and uh, today I'm going to give you a quick tour on how the zero ship out as mechanism on the ML Astro SAL33 harmonic mounts works. So a lot of interest in this out mechanism and rightfully so. This is revolutionary, right? So you know what how these other kind of art mechanism works on other mounts right you spend hours in the dark uh, trying to fine tune the pole alignment and then after you got it precisely dialed in with the knob here you just tightening screw of the out arts the screw and this here and it throw the pole alignment out of alignment and you have to go finicky with these and up again and those take a lot of time or if you have a very heavy setup on the on the uh, SAL 30 uh, on your mount right you will have a hard time adjusting this thumb screw the out, out screw here right you have to put a blob of torque here to make it rotate or you even have to put a wrench in here, an Allen key in here, and use it as a lever, right? I'm sure that a lot of you have to go through this kind of thing, right? And I do too, and I hate those things, right? So we put a lot of thought into this, and here is how we improve the as as mechanism on the ML Astro SAL33. I got here the Takahashi TOA130 NFB version. It's the, the heaviest version of the TOA130. And I got the camera mounts on, the dovetail, everything mounts on. The, this setup is somewhere like about 14 kilogram, right? And I got the, for this uh, demonstration, I just put the uh, counterweight bar plus the 2.5 kilogram and uh, counterweight on so total I think we got about 17 kilogram right about 17 kilogram of uh, load on this setting right on the bridge right here and forgive the cable management I'm just doing a quick test oh you can see that there are the rain coming so I better f be quick so as you can see that the mount is currently at zero degree right this is the place that has the highest resistance right all the uh, the torque is at the highest right the lever arm is the longest normally for the other RS mechanism right you will loosen this uh, grub screw on the side of the mount here right and then you adjust the altitude knob here, right? And then you lock the altitude knob. And that create a problem for polar alignment, right? Because since you have this knob here tightened, after you have got the altitude tight in, right? And you got this, uh, you tighten this knob, the mount will shift a little, right? And it throw up your carefully dialed in uh, polar alignment right this ship might be very very slight but it's still a problem so we did develop a special uh, art mechanism we call it zero ship to the polar alignment is that we keep these thumb screw tightly lock up right we lock up this screw as tight as we can right and then we just go on to use the thumb screw here to adjust the the altitude of the mount and you can see that the altitude adjustment is very smooth I don't know if you can see the mount is moving when I'm adjusting this I hope you can see the mount moving but it does you can see it that right I'm out range for the adjustment here I'll go the other way also very easy you can see that right there is no effort at all although I'm near the limit of the mount 17 kilogram right maybe you if you put a 5 kilogram counterweight and a 20 kilogram scope on it 
it would be somewhere around 25 kilogram right so a little bit heavier but i don't think that is gonna be a problem at all you can see that the the adjustment is extremely smooth and effortless it's like magic and when you are done with the out adjustment you just leave it like that no need to tighten this this uh, knob and throw your polar alignment out of the carefully dyed in polar alignment that you have earlier right so that is the out altitude uh, adjustment screw thumb screw right many people ask why don't i do we uh, not make the the adjustment screw bigger the thumb screw bigger or have some hole to put the allen key here and use it as a lever right and uh, put more torque into it but i just say we are very confident about this zero ship adjustment mechanism and that is unnecessary you can see that the adjustment is just awesome it just year ahead of everything else that i have ever used and i believe me i have used a lot we're very proud of this altitude adjustment mechanism right the other thing that we might want to see right i will loosen this screw here right and we can adjust the azimuth also very light right no effort at all right you can see that it is extremely smooth and easy to adjust right and also after you're done no need to tighten the screw those are self tightening right and you do not have to touch those screw and do not have to worry about the wind will throw out your alignment after you tighten those screw right and uh, one more thing that people might wonder is that is those zero ship mechanism a solid and i can assure you that it is it is it will hold your polar alignment for a long time right so it is suitable for observatory setting where you have very limited maintenance on it and it just keep your polar alignment all the time right just make sure that the last alignment is the thing that make the the right ascension axis go up like this right uh, you put it go up like this right and it will help the polar alignment better okay so the uh, cloud is rolling in and i hear thunder in the distance so probably no imaging for me tonight we are having rain tonight so i think i will do another video that desmond chase how easy it is to polar line this mount with the zero ship mechanism right and i believe i believe that you will like this it's just a breeze to use a lot of thought has been uh, put into this mechanism and i hope you will like it it's, it's one of the best thing about the sal 33 our first harmonic mounts thank you for watching and have a nice day everyone